Hey guys, it's Cameron. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you guys how I flat iron natural hair without any heat damage. So if you like how this came out, make sure you stay tuned. So I'm starting on already stretched hair and we're going to go ahead and um, start to blow dry her hair. I'm going to spray some Afro G um, heat protectant. I love this product. It gives it a nice sheen and it protects your hair from heat. So I'm going to take my paddle brush and my blow dryer and I'm going to go ahead and blow the hair out. I try to stay a good bit away from the hair and not touch the hair at all with the blow dryer. I just feel like that's too close and it's an easy way to burn the hair and to create heat damage. So I stay away from the hair a good bit. It can be a pretty easy process if you make sure that you stretch the hair out before um, blow drying. It takes a little bit longer but it reduces the amount of heat you need to straighten the hair. So now we're at the top and I did the same thing all over her head so I just skipped to this part to show you guys um, how I do stay away from the hair. I don't get too close and I just brushed downwards to get it to lay how I want it. Now I just take my fingers and I go in her hair to see if there's any wet spots that I need to work on and clearly here there was a um, spot that was still a little damp so I'm going to go back in with the blow dryer and get that dry. So like always, I have her hair sectioned off and I'm going to go ahead and begin the flat iron process. First, I'm going to spray the Afro G um, heat protectant again in that section. I'm going to start to section her hair off and flat iron. So I'm using my favorite flat iron, the Nano Titanium, um, and this is the one inch flat iron. So I have my flat iron set at 350 degrees and I try not to go over 400. So I'm going to go ahead and um, section my hair off into some small sections and begin to flat iron. So I have my hair sectioned off and I'm going to go ahead and start the flat iron. I start at the root and get the root really well and I chase my comb with the flat iron. This just makes it smoother, gives it um, a smooth look and make sure it's all detangled as you're flat ironing. So I like to go over the hair not more than twice. This just reduces the um, likeliness of you getting any heat damage or um, damaging the hair at all. So I do two times, um, preferably one time, but if I have to, I'll go over it again. Okay, so now I want to just talk about some do's and don'ts of um, flat ironing your natural hair because this can be a very... Um, risky task so first do is you want to make sure you clarify your hair with shampoo or use like an apple cider vinegar rinse to um, make sure you get all the build up and residue out of your hair also you want to make sure you deep condition your hair before you flat iron just to make sure it has enough moisture because if it is too dry it will um, be easy for it to break off and you'll get split ends or it just won't come out looking like you wanted it to so the next do is you want to allow your hair to air dry at least 50% before um, applying any heat to it, which I talked about earlier. I like to let my hair stretch. Um, the way I do this is I put in a few big braids all over the hair and this gives the hair an opportunity to stretch and dry at the same time. Okay, now for a few don'ts. First of all, um, don't use any heat over 450 degrees. Um, your hair does burn at 451 degrees, but I prefer to stay below 400 just to be safe. So that's just my tip. So next, just because your hair is flat iron does not mean you can flat iron it every single day until it gets old. No, at night, um, preserve your hair. I prefer to um, either pin curl or wrap my hair at night when it's flat ironed. Um, do not apply any more heat to it once it is flat ironed for the first time. And lastly, after you wash away your style, um, 
try to do a deep conditioner or add some hydration to your hair also a reconstructing mask is really good for your, um, your curls if they seem a little weak or a little loose um, after you wash your style away try that and I love um, Shea Moisture's re um, restoring conditioner after I put on my hair it just seems to give my curls an extra pop right after I'm done so Okay, so back to flat ironing. Can we just take a minute for this shine in this hair? Afro definitely did his thing with this um, reconstructing spray. I love it. It's my number one. So I'm just doing the exact same thing I did all over um, her hair. I do like to get the roots a few times before I go down the shaft of her hair. Only because the roots are your thickest part of your hair and they can be the uh, curliest so I like to make sure I get those roots really straight okay so as you can see I did add a little bit of a bump into the middle of her hair I always do this because I like body I feel like that just makes the style so in the middle of her hair like in the crown I always like to add a little bit of a bump not necessarily a bump but kind of like a um swoop kind of but it's really light it's not like anything heavy or anything just to give it some body and I'll um comb it out after so Y'all look at this. I mean, come on. This is so satisfying. This is what I do that for. Like, look at that body. So if it was me, I probably would leave mine with some of those that bump in it still. But my sister, she just likes her hair bone straight all the time. So I combed it out for her and it still has a lot of body and fullness in it. So here you can tell um, she had a little bit of split ends. We did add a light color to the ends of her hair and that's just the product of that. So now I'm going ahead and finishing the flat ironing and I had her hold her ear and I just did the same thing I did in the back. Okay, so she wanted the side part with the heavy bangs. That's what I was doing. I was just adding a little bit of a slight bump at the ends just to give her kind of that full look in the front. Okay, so I'm going to just let you guys watch this. This is kind of self-explanatory. If you know how to curl, um, you should know how to do this. It's not, it's not hard. And when I do this, I do part the hair diagonally so that it falls in her face, like kind of to cover part of one of her eyes. This is just the way I like to do it. I think it looks really cute.
So y'all probably gonna be like, these people are crazy. But I wouldn't recommend this. But she um, decided she wanted a middle part. Yes, so of course we had to do a middle part. So I tried to use as little heat as possible when I um, switched it over. So that's what I was doing, mainly focusing on the roots just so that it lays down in the middle. That's what we're doing here. So I just smoothed over the hair with the flat iron and then combed it out a little bit just to lay it down as much as possible. Okay, so this is how I always like to get the edges. I pull her hair back and um, I just use small sections and just get those edges really straight. I hadn't done this yet, so don't worry. So just about two months ago, or actually a little less than two months ago, we cut her hair just a little bit over shoulder length. Um, so this just goes to show when you take care of your hair, it will definitely grow. So this is the finished product. She loved it. Um, it came out great. And I'm just so happy to see it growing so well. Um, we do not flat iron her hair too often, uh, maybe once a month, if that, because she's trying to grow her hair out. So um, yeah, guys. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see her hair um, the first time we cut it, check out my Instagram. I have pictures of that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and let me know what videos you'd like to see next. See you guys later.